Hello and welcome. This is a new space that is being created from the Healing for Rising group of friends and co-creative um, ceremony leaders. And we're um, inspired by the work of um, the One World Community, the World Unity Week, and the Journeys of Peace Through Unity um, um, journey last year in 2023. And we're feeling inspired again this year in 2024 to bring that Healing for Rising um, energy and monthly ceremonies uh, to our community. And this time we are um, I'm partnering up with Anya Mays and we are holding the theme of uh, creating safe space for darkness where we can walk together on the edge of light and love, where we can bring our lightness to transform darkness or we can just explore and be present and safe in the fact that we have lightness and darkness and there's a place where that's allowed to show uh, to each other in the name of building a truer deeper community with each other and with and the deeper acceptance in ourselves of our own light and dark parts as being part of that same the same force of consciousness that's, that's driving us through through life and and how do we how do we face all of it so that we can all make it through together. So my name is Kara Stonehouse. I'm with the Hague Center for Global Governance, Innovation and Emergence. And I'd like to, to open it up for Anya today to introduce yourself. Yeah, great. Thanks to, to Kara for introducing the topic, the theme, and uh, yeah, with expressions of light and dark and, and, and walking this path of an seen and an unseen world and also with uh, yeah, a little bit of going into that uh, field of uh, that what we know, what we deeply know inside and feel some feel it in the body, some feel it in the heart, some have pictures, some yeah, people explore that what we're talking about in a really different shape and we're glad to uh, be with you. And uh, I want to invite um, us to yeah, set um, like Kara is always uh, putting in words so 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 beautiful to set a container and um, to set a container she's having it already there and I'm having it also here I'm carrying a candle candle which represents all those sacred fires I had been with and it's standing for peace and I'm lighting my candle here with that peace so this piece is one of those energies I'm inviting to be with us here and carrying us in a light which we are having now. And as I breathe in life into my world, I breathe in life into my fire. I breathe life into my fire so the flame is seen it needs oxygen so I'm bringing something in from me personally from my body I'm bringing in my breath of life into my inner fire I'm lighting an outer fire but I'm, but I'm also breathing in and light an inner fire so the flame is seen your flame is seen and it will bring light and warmth to my body it will be, bring light and warmth to your body so it is warming your water inside it is warming your soul allow your heart to open allow your heart to open and to feel this tiny flame or already bigger flame in your heart so your soul is filled up with warmth that you feel and with this flame also your soul it will never be dimmed so breathe in the breath of life and i'm calling in also the energies of all four directions and i'm calling it in with my breath of life and the turtle shell which represent my ancestors, which are helping spirits in the ceremony.
invite your ancestors, helping spirits, to sit with you at this fire, which is already prepared for you and inviting you. Invite your energies, those spirits who join us in the ceremony that feel called to be with us. Be aware of the moment, sit down on the ground and connect with the earth. We are actually sitting. Everything is fine. Everything is okay while you are here with us. Today is a grounding day and a grounding the energy of this series and our intention today is to create a space within ourselves and within this circle of ceremony leaders and participants, a space where we're ready, uh, where we feel safe enough in our in each person's own self to walk, take a walk in to darkness together to hold the space where it becomes safer uh, than normal to show the darker side. And we're not, we can't promise you a safe space. We each need to take our responsibility for our needs and our boundaries. Um, but this space is intended to have some intense emotions and some intense subject matters. Um, and so we have, we just know that we're always capable as, um, conscious beings to, to dial down any emotion as if it's starting to feel too intense for us and that we're here for you after any session if something got activated and you can't hold it by yourself uh, we make sure that you reach out and, and get the help help that you need and uh, and sometimes and just knowing in yourself that sometimes you just get a clear no about something and sometimes you get a clear yes uh, just kind of in your body and you um and just to listen to that, and those are really important intuitions. And just it means you need to step out, or you need to go into a breakout, and be held for a little bit. Those options are, are there for us to create this uh, this container. Um, but the intention is, but by grounding very deeply uh, with our ancestors and our supportive energies, by having really clear and deep uh, intentions that are accessed from source, that that cre it creates a space that holds us really well it's a really strong container to go to go to take a brave we call it, some people call it a brave space um to go into um explorations that we don't not not every space can hold so let's just check if we're grounded enough and if there's anything more to do for grounding us so yeah i'm getting a yes on that so i think i mean definitely me personally need to do a little something and probably all of us watching as well so when we're grounding often we ground our body down and our energy down into the earth let's do that now in your way that works for you. For this deep energetic work, I also invite us to ground into the infinite, into the void space that's before space and time. So grounding in the void. So what that looks like for me usually is I kind of curl into a ball. It sort of happens in my body. I just allow and surrender to be in this kind of womb space of consciousness.
faith, really everything is possible. All creation can come out of that space before space and time where anything is possible and all any energy and information can connect and can be accessed. Let's imagine that that would be true for us and practice with that and see how it shifts a lot. Our intention today is to talk about some of the agreements that we have when we are creating this, these kinds of spaces um, and then after that to go a little deeper into the ceremony of finding that space for yourself so we have some uh, agreements that we've that we've thought of just from our different practices that we've been in uh, throughout our lives and we'll be inviting you to add in um, what kind of agreements are important for you in creating this kind of ceremony space where we're some of us are co-creating the ceremonies together taking turns running a ceremony each new moon of the, the healing for rising uh, group of friends and, uh, and sometimes we're recording and sometimes we're not so what are the what are the core agreements there and and then what are the um, and then as we go we can continue to make small agreements within that like as you host your Space, there'll be some agreements around your, how you want to do how you want to do yours. I'm just going to post that. First one is that we are um, entering a temple. So we're entering a sacred space. Did you want to talk about this one, Anya, since it was the one you wrote on? Mm, yeah, thank you. So we um, uh, can just keep our thoughts in that what we defined and really open the space that um, also each and every one that wants to be there can 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 be in that what had been important for us is that um in that term of that we are practitioners of that keeping that um that we each time go into this divine space and to something that is um, named with the word of temple and you might imagine how you enter a sacred space that somebody created for you, which is in, um, which might be entered in a, in a, in appropriate in an appropriate manner, whatever appropriate does mean for you with your ethical, religious, spiritual context, and it can be something really simple like washing your hands, taking your shoes off, and yeah, let out what doesn't belong to that place which you are entering and maybe something you want to bring on the altar for that very date when you're entering that temple. In some temples you bring smoke. There's a, a kind of offering or maybe you want to deliver a prayer. Whatever it is that you prepare yourself for, that is the meaning of that temple which we which we named with the word. Second is a compassionate listening and ceremonial space where we release judgment and where we're not trying to change each other or heal each other necessarily, but we're holding the space for the spiritual uh, energetic work to to flow through and to emerge through us and through our own through our own power. Um, so a lot of our community are used to the being kind and compassionate and deep listening so that's an easy one for us that we almost take for granted uh, but it's worth it's worth the saying out loud that you're, you're safe here to be your full self and I think what's what's different what's kind of a taboo in our community is saying negative things or saying uh, sad things or violent things um, or like your sadness about violent things and um, 
And so that's where I think that's what's maybe different about this space as opposed to any other meeting, just normal meeting would be in there for some more openness to your whole self, something that you might be more ashamed to share in other circles, but that we can let it go and release and be heard in our fullness than just one more level of, of trust that we're building and bond and um, and release and to, for you to be your next uh, best self when you rise in your, in your journey. Um, and then uh, what follows on from that is if you share these more intimate things that are not as not as welcome in every day um, that maybe you don't want everyone to know these are your private um, thoughts and feelings so that we hold that safe for each other that we don't go tell um, others about the, the issue that one person talked about in the circle. Um, however, we would like to share some of the insights and if there's a really good quote that comes out of what we're saying or high graphic record a session and I'm showing the um, the energetic pattern of what's emerged or the main insights that emerged or the the steps that we went through and how we healed some energies I would like I would like to be sharing those um, insights out to the one world community and maybe broader on on social media and, and um, articles and that sort of thing um, but then always if there's something personal even if it's an agreed ahead that we're recording for something if something quite personal comes up that we really ask permission before that information goes out into the into the public sphere um so for the recordings um we're recording this one it's more of a welcome and setting the container so that everyone can watch it and and see and and come into the field uh, and catch up if you're joining at any time throughout the year um um, some of them will be um, about some deeper topics where you might we might want to get deep and sacred and not record um, for the sacredness and other ones we um, for other topics or purposes we may want to record so that the um, and it might be that the host will just keep that recording for their reference and um, and gathering their insights again at the end and there might be other ones where we think this is an important topic and the way we're doing it is a way that we want to share to the public so we just want to just have that consent. So the principle there is that we're always giving consent to how much is being shared afterwards. And uh, Anya, would you like to talk about the uh, lean speech? And about just being aware. Yeah. So um, because we wanted to um, create the, the space for sharing. So in this um, gentle manner, when somebody is opening up, it can be that you you are one of those yeah really advanced people also that have a lot of experience but also need a space to share things because you need guidance or help in in uh, some kind of uh, steps you you're heading to to walk next to and uh, we're also guided to uh, uh, invited to to be there and some at some point there might be a lot to share and uh, we are asking you to um, be gentle to yourself and also to gentle to those that are with you. So you're taking the time to express um, in a good way what it is about that you want to share. And don't take the whole time, but also be really in line what is what is up and, and be careful that there are, um, are others with you in the room. So take your time, share, and also have time to listen and time for silence. And um, you, will, you will get the time that is needed. And we will take it um, really for granted. Not for granted, but um, as Kara said in the beginning, um, there will be time to go deeper um, in case it is needed or you're asking for. So this is a space to open and to share with others and all. And um, so and practice a, a speech that is really coming from the source. And so we are helping each other also to to be more to be more. I will not choose the word precise because what 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 does mean precise? So a lean speech that is coming from the source. We all will experience the clearness and clarity of it as we practice it more and more. So there is in, in, in some spiritual um, uh, directions, you know that some things 
doesn't ha have an expression or a name in this wordless things space words are coming out and you will feel that and uh, yeah we'll ask you to be in that space and to come in that in that space i cannot hear you Uh, the next relates to that and uh, it's about your personal responsibility for your own experience um, so just noticing what's what's up for you and what's triggered for you and really checking in if it's how much of it is is yours and how much of it um, is the group sometimes it's hard to discern um, but just knowing that you um, it is a volunteer um, and by donation space and so you're really you're really taking responsibility for your for your own safety and limits we are doing the best we can to hold to make the strongest container um, and, and you decide your your limits and, and boundaries um, and also self-regulate if you if you need if that's needed or ask for help so that you can self-regulate um, and if it's in a maybe you need to go to another room or something like that um, and honoring your yes and no, taking that as well. And then just uh, referring back to the power of silence, you know, if we can, if things are getting to a spot where you feel like it's needed, you, you can make a call for silence or say, can, can someone ring the bell or can we have a moment of silence just to let let the whole system relax and self-regulate as we, um, so that we can keep holding um, the intensity if we need to. So we're curious to know what are the agreements that are important to you? Um, are there any of these you would uh, change or add or, or take away or, or refine something that's important to you in these types of spaces? So if you, um, you can, you can put those in the WhatsApp group chat, if you're in with the, the Healing for Rising or Bridging Continents group or the Peace, um, the Peace Through Unity uh, WhatsApp group or wherever you're seeing this video can you email us or uh, or put it in the chat in the comments take a minute to let that set in And now we'd like to go in a little deeper and guide uh, ourselves and you into a personal journey about and a collective journey about finding this space inside of us and together that can hold that can hold darkness. and both the, the directions and the ancestors so they're here for us on the the large outside of the of container and now the time for for you to invoke um, the forces that would support you in building this container so it could be a personal person in your life or the past a force like love or peace or darkness
you. Could you turn a little bit louder? Bringing in my mother and my father line, uh, but Gaia holding us and uh, courage. And I was wondering what, uh, what you were bringing in. I'm bringing in children's voices and I'm bringing in a lot of children and uh, full of laughter and joy walking around and uh, I'm bringing in the children with joy. I'm just wondering about the water dragon. Do you want to say anything about that? Yes, it's like um, like if really the space that we opened called for the energies that came in and we, we are for sure prepared a, a little bit about uh, what could be needed or what could be uh, that what, um, what is coming up. And uh, one of the topics and one of the themes um, that uh, that came up is uh, the spirit being of a of a dragon dragon in the meaning of grandmother dragon dragon in the meaning of also um yeah this this stars of the dragon of something that is really profound ancient old huge and has a protective energy and has a protective energy with the wings that are coming with it. So a serpent shape, but also a being with wings and the wings are able to fly. The wings are able to protect something under it. So it's like whatever you think the wings are for, you can fly high, you can land something to protect when something is and you can really fly and um, be with it and sit on the dragon and and be with it and um, yeah due to sound due to sound reasons um, we will uh, just show it and not have a sound experience there but maybe take a moment to to connect yourself with the being of the dragon which is also one of those energies which are coming in the chinese calendar with this year so we are having the year of the dragon so it's not only in our minds it's really we spotted the, this this uh, um this this space of uh, nothingness which where it came from and um it is a water dragon and it's 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 guiding us and I hope I can make it visible yeah and be seen and um, so oops I hope I can do that what I see here and I'm enlightening it with the fire I lighted so this light and this fire is really in and it's coming here and it's um, what is shown here is when this water dragon is alive in you and when you could imagine to fly on this dragon out of the ocean so this is the eye of the ocean and somehow the ocean is inside you because you are deeper than an ocean and you are consisting of ocean and water and on my altar i also have um some kind of i put some kind of soap today <laughs> which is coming with salt, salt water. And uh, imagine that this dragon is also keeping your tears. You see the light and you see the fire burning through your eyes 
and also through this dragon which is protecting us here and um, maybe tears of joy and tears of sadness coming together and this is what we mean with light and darkness so the dragon is with us and protecting us for that what we're doing so the feel of that when you said the dragon in you i was like mm. it's protecting you from the back is that what you what you got what you felt um just sort of like the energy of the dragon rising in me like me being the dragon yeah yeah relaxing, like wings. Yeah. yeah so this being is really inviting you to to feel it thank you for sharing so we're fully in book yes yeah so let's uh we'll do a little more on the intention so we have the intention that we've come with of um creating safe space within us uh, to hold to hold uncomfortable, to hold darkness. And just like us to access in a little more from spirit what, what it wants to show us about that intention and how to deepen that intention or energize that intention in us. So we just drop in and just let any energy move you or any images come to mind. Gentle rocking. It's almost like we're rowing together in a boat on the water. And it's, um, there's relaxation and there's looking up and feeling the sun. There's like, there's an effort, efforting in it, but it's like this relaxed, eff, um, continuous motion that we do together. Anything coming up for you, Anya? Yeah, it really feels like um, we're really sitting in that boat on this ocean. And bringing the energies in and moving forward. or space no anything you want to see or do just sit in a sitting posture okay let's sit in it but just sort of framing energetically mm. that relaxed yeah coordinated effort yeah i'm relaxed and moving forward and back and i'm also also relaxed and being clear channel which is not moving because it's holding the inner flow so I've, i felt both and i could change in between just being that clear channel which is really open inside and everything is flowing and i see a spiral around me but i can easily also change into that being of yes moving something in me and then be that again so changing from one into the other 
So, and it feels like really being in that space and going out of that space. So really deep listening also towards and also step back and say, okay, I'm coming into my own energy or maybe there's a yes or no, something. There's a, like, a, like a tipping point while this moving forward and back is able to, to have access to this walking together and rowing together. ready for the accessing yeah so this is the part where we um access what's the a ritual or an energy to open to open the space ground the space energize the space so we just access what uh, the steps may be that will help us create this together hmm. so is there a best place to start is it with a certain person no is it with a certain way of being yeah um is there someone who's supposed to, to access that? Is it me? Is it Anya? Yeah. Uh, so Anya, you're invited to access, uh, what's the way of being to start off, of kind of before we do the ceremony, how are we holding it? What's the way of being? Just sense into what that might be. I had the picture of my, my inner being reshaped into some kind of tree some kind of tree in my image is because i'm very connected to them um that's very personal it's a jew tree it's a huge and ancient jew tree and uh, the image had a spiral around so that had been my my inner grounding picture what came instantly so i in invite the nature beings trees oh. in terms of this uh, uh, tree that is able to to direct us through the worlds and through the directions and through the dimensions dimensions and are, are we invited to be that tree like to be in, be in a similar being to a tree like that yeah i'm getting a yes yeah Are we to be led in that for a moment from Anya? Yeah. Yeah. Could you actually lead us in a few sentences of, of, of that? Be becoming that, that tree. Yeah, you might imagine um, to sit or stand firmly to be in an environment where a little bit of uh, wind is around you like you breathe in breathe out and you wave with your breath in and out and there is a sort of branches roots and with those roots it's a beautiful grounding inner visualiz visualization moment where you can grow your roots into the earth grow from there up 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 wherever it guides you and where you anchor up there it might be heaven it might be somewhere else in another dimension where the leaves are coming or which type of tree you are having so in in the type of a dew tree there is green color there is brown color, ancient story, there are fruits and everything around, very stable, nothing can happen. Which form or shape you're ever heaven, having individually in a huge forest of trees standing together next to each other, communicating with the plants, the animals, human beings sitting in the shadow around and as people in the old days did here in European um, yeah, areas, they held circle under the tree, under the Jew tree 
and maybe invite somebody to sit with you under the tree. And so I invite you to sit with me under my tree, which I created, or which you are visualizing actually in this very moment. And open your eyes and look who is in. to go right into ceremony step yeah okay and do we access each step at a time and we'll start the first step now and is there a certain person no okay uh do we kind of know the first step no we can access it um either of us can access it but at the same time So the first step is to place us so that we're all together, so that our, our trees are a circle and there's a clearing and we're creating kind of a camp site for us all who are involved in this project, who come throughout the year, you can join into this clearing in the forest. steady old old trees and we come and we sit in a circle each of us under our tree also as our tree And to start, we're looking, uh, we're looking at our tree. So we're actually, we're in a circle, but our backs are to each other. And we're looking and we're connected with, with our tree. Is that the first step complete? And Anya to do the do next, the next step. step. Yeah, so yeah, Anya, Anya, what's the next steps in this ritual? I just feel called to ask you to put something on the altar in the middle. Something to that belongs to you and that belongs to our ceremony today. So you might have something in mind or something that is in your pocket, something that is in your heart that's on your altar and just place it if you allow the others also to see it, place it in the middle. So it will be the altar of this ceremony and it might be the item for that what is needed because those are called to support this initiative might have this clear mind to see clearly what we need for this ceremony on our altar to be. Take a moment, breathe in, breathe out, and feel the movement of that what you would like to share on the altar. Seems like a buzzard. So be and curious. Some kind of mm -hmm. turkey feather. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I think the um, 
the theme of wings is definitely coming up for me mm -hmm. with the being my true spiritual self being bringing the dragon energy letting the wings unfurl it's sort of a pattern that keeps something i'm working in great you share <laughs> now you need to bring yourself back to the altar <laughs> You vanished from the altar. <laughs> I had to go back to my tree from the altar. Yeah. <laughs> I'll access the next step. Um, then there's a circle around the altar and we take slowly we take a step in towards the center and another step closer and another step closer and so the circle is getting tighter so that our Shoulders are almost touching. And you just let feel in yourself the sort of tension of coming closer, but not quite touching. And just give yourself time to feel safe with this group. Would it be okay? Do you feel safe enough to take the next step forward so that our shoulders are all touching? And if you get a no, stay where you are. If you get a yes, or if you need a few minutes, a little time until you can find it in yourself, the courage, and the safety in yourself to take one more step forward. For those of us whose shoulders are now touching, feel the warmth of the person on both sides of you and how and the, the firmness of the circle being um, complete here as well. And just let that be there. See how your body is reacting to that. Do you feel safe? Do you feel held? Do you feel warm? Do you feel scared? Remind yourself that you have the power to create safety for yourself. And that these people agree to hold you, your soul, safe. feel comfortable, lean your head forward in so that our heads are all touching at the temple. And lean in, getting a bit of a dome. Feel like a wing space. And 
can kind of let go of your individual self in a safe green container. You can feel and hear how we're breathing as one. You're still not as deeply stepped forward in the circle. You're still breathing with us. You're still welcome. And you may feel like you're outside of the in group. It's not the kind of space that you feel you're a little different. You've never done this kind of thing before, or you're not as free and able to go into that kind of intimacy. You're still in the space. You're still welcome. You're still one of us. We're on this relaxed journey together. And Anya, what's the next step? I just feel myself into that really comfortable state of transcendence. And um, I just feel guided to, to sit there for a moment. Just to sit there for a moment. Yeah, I feel like the stars are out. So we're just enjoying this moment. Yeah. 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 Like the center. Like really centered and a joyous just being moment. From where it could be to allow yourself to also again feel if there is a need of a change comforting you much more even deeper in the next step. Say that again, a comforting change inside you that I didn't quite understand. Yeah, it might come up that something is coming up that inside yourself shows you what you need to be comforted. A feeling, an image, a situation you're thinking on which is coming up and ready to be spoken in that kindness to yourself to be named in this very space we entered so whatever is coming up for from those that are in this field that feel to support this field just name it out in one or two words so it is in the field. Thank you. 
thinking of this, this kind of urgency that I have and this kind of desire and mm, a little bit fear of, of it if it's my ego, uh, but that 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 I want to we need to do more and we need to do it now. Um, and there's too much bad and we've got to change so much. And um, so there's this this urgent tension and uh, the what I need. I guess it's just this constant reminder of that deep trust in life and God that I sometimes have, maybe in community, we can hold it even more, even more regular, even more grounded, even more material, this tr deep trust. I trust in God. Can I trust in people too? I trust in these people finally. That I found the home where my spirit can be at its fullest and truest, and that's okay. It's not weird and woo-woo or stupid or not true. I can trust in life and I can trust in you and I can trust that I'm good enough in what I bring forward that it matters enough to keep, to not block myself and to keep going. Take a take a moment and be and, and enjoy the, the the silence and the words that are coming. I instantly, while listening to you, saw again what I saw: somebody coming to me, just pushing me aside, standing in the circle and throwing a bunch of items on the altar, which I in that very moment thought of, hey, that's my place. <laughs> what are you doing here? So you, but um, yeah, I stood at that very place. He wanted to enter the circle to be part of it. And because I invited that whatever is coming up could be placed on the altar, um, I just took a step at the side and saw which precious items were laid down on this altar, which he placed there because he couldn't handle them. But the group, the circle was able to, I was able to see, oh, that's for that purpose. Oh, that's for that purpose. And that's for that purpose. So I invite you to have a look on what's on the altar and um, what others place there, what they are not able to handle. So your words are reminding me on that. Am I enough? Or, yeah, is there somebody else that is able to? And then just watch out and become silent again. I cannot hear you. We've got some time now for the person who's listening to share out loud in their own space what their what their piece is here.
but when I stepped in from mine, I don't know where to push it. circle with our hands uh, touching each other in the sky. Be strong in your feet, arch your back a little bit. If you weren't able to touch shoulder and shoulder, it's an invitation this time. You can come hand to hand up high if that's it. if you're feeling safe to do that now, or just in the circle, maybe not touching the front where you are. But come in the circle, come in the circle, you're welcome. It's important to feel in, let yourself feel in. Feel that's hard for you. That's my approach here, feel in. up. We're strong and full of life, vibrancy and potential. And we're ready to stand for what needs to be stood for, to see what needs to be seen, to speak what needs to be spoken, to heal what has been broken. Together we are strong. We will be the leaders that this world is yearning for. Who's been hiding, they're yearning for us now to help guide the way home. Put our hands in prayer. Bow. Relaxation. Take the return. Take one moment and silence to gather any insights and to integrate what we've done so far. So take a few breaths. How you might take this energy forward in your everyday life. Thank you. And this brings us to our closing, and I invite Annie and Chiri to start closing. Mm. 
the sacred space which had been created for you with you with all those energies that came with you to sit with us at this fire which is within that sacred space which we lighted and which is always in your heart you're able to re-enter and to re-anchor being that pole being that tree and just remember to re-enter this very space which is as of now just inviting you to take a last look around say goodbye to those that had been there and with you Give thanks to all spirits, to all those that had been with you and accompanied us and carry you home. And you know always, and for the next new moon, this fire will be lit again and invite you to sit with us and to share with us. Happy to host you. All the energies to where they need to be and for what you need to hold. Um, full moon, the first new moon ceremony that we'll be sharing with uh, out to the public and it will be on February, Friday, February 9th at 9 p.m. CET and we'll create the registration page on the Hague Center website and we'll be inviting you um, to join us there. So, see you soon. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Carol.